internet's trying to mess up. Hello, Coffee Time Friends. How y'all doing? It's coffee time. What goes good with coffee? Brownies. And what kind of brownies might we be fixing? Well, we're fixing banana bread brownies tonight with, with brown butter frosting. Now, this is brand new for me and Mama both. We've never tried this. We told y'all we're going to start trying some new things. Not always. Just fix what we already do. Excuse me. So, that's what we're doing tonight, Mama. Yeah. Tell them what you're doing. We're even using the big mixer tonight. Oh, you got that the big one. So, it's a one and a half cups of sugar, Mama. Okay. And the directions say to... Um, Beet sugar, sour cream, eggs, butter, until creamy. So it's one and a half cups of sugar going into the bowl. Get, get my one cup. Hand me that sour cream. Here's the sour cream. And I'm going to stir the sour cream because, of course, it gets a little watery on top. I know you can turn it upside down. One and a half cups of sugar. One and a half sugar. Uh, but I don't like turning it upside down. I always feel like it's going to make a mess and then I get paranoid about that. I just stir the deal with the water on top, to be honest. So, just going to stir that in. And one cup. one cup of sugar going in. Can y'all see what she's doing? I want y'all to be able to see. One cup and a half a cup. Let's see. One cup and a half a cup. And sour cream. This is a cup too, isn't it? No, three quarters. Three quarters of a cup. Do you want me to eyeball it? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put it in a cup of sour cream. This it? is a one pound, 16 ounce, so a cup would be eight ounces. So about half of this will be a cup of sour cream. What, uh, what else do I put in? <clears throat> put in it right now. You put your, yeah. <clears throat> so we put the one and a half cups of sugar, one cup of sour cream, two eggs, and uh, a half a cup of butter softened. Can y'all see? Do you guys see that? Now, Mama's probably going to be quiet today. Don't take offense. She's just thinking about a new recipe. And she's going to be real kind of stuck up fish tonight. But we love her. Yeah, we love her. So, she checks her eggs like I did. Now, everything is in there that we need. We got our cup and a half of sugar, if y'all writing this down. A cup of sour cream. Two eggs. And um, you got your half cup of butter? No. So a half a cup half of butter, which is a butter, stick. A stick. So you need a stick and a tablespoon. I need two more tablespoons off of this. So this would be our half a cup of butter going in. Right now, this has been softening. We keep butter out all the time. Made it we may run out of softened butter though. Yeah, how so much we have to have for that, that was it. A half a stick. We had to have for the icing. We had to have um, a half a cup. Oh, it's cooked though, ain't it? Yeah. But it's uh, it'll be. So in our little bowl here, we've got sugar, sour cream, eggs, and butter. Now put our shield on, and we're gonna cream it up. All right, let's see. The shield may not work with that rubber. Let's see what I get. Okay, can you flip this up? Flip this up. Can you not, Mama? I just the wrong way. Okay, so let's start stirring. You want to start slow. Now that it's kind of incorporated, we'll go up a notch. Let it get a little bit more incorporated. We'll come up another notch. Says until creamy. You can see the different pieces in there. A little bit of butter. 
a little bit of other stuff so you want to make sure you let it cream good. It's not there yet. Let's go on up. It was soft, yeah. Let it go a little while. We might have to put the whisk. You want to get the whisk attachment? We'll switch it. We're not liking the way this is doing. It's not creaming up enough. Over there on the dryer. Let's switch to our whisk. Let's go ahead and rake it down. We got a little butter up here. Rake it all down. I don't know if it's the sour cream. I don't think it's the butter, but it's sour cream. Mm -hmm. It's just not getting quite there. So let's try the whisk. Is that too loud? I know y'all like to see what's going on, but I bet you don't want to hear what's going on. But this is a part of kitchen life, is when you're cooking, you're gonna be noisy. It's starting to cream a little better. Are y'all saying it's too loud? Mama says they probably are, because it is. Your turbo mixer is louder. It's starting to get there now. Okay. Which one does? Now the directions say, y'all, and you got made these yet? Hello from Iowa. It looks delicious. It sounds loud, though, don't it? It's okay. Thank you, Sherry. The directions say now to blend in bananas and vanilla, and the vanilla amount is uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. the vanilla amount. Did I not? Is one teaspoon of vanilla. Let's take our bananas and we'll start just breaking them up. These are ripe, ripe, ripe. These are perfect for banana bread. You see, I'll draw yes, Banana brownies. Whatever you want to fix. You're measuring? One teaspoon. One teaspoon. And we will put our uh, one teaspoon of baking um, soda. And we'll call it a dash of salt. It's three-fourths teaspoon of salt. That's quite a bit. So you want about three bananas is what it said. <clears throat> One and a half cups of bananas. We always use three for our bread. It says to mash them. That's what the job of the mixer is for. And uh, boo, 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 salt. I'm just going to put a shake, shake of salt. We do it to taste. Baking soda is uh, one teaspoon, mama. We'll let you look down in here while it's quiet. Okay. Did you put the vanilla? Yeah. 
Yeah, I put the salt. We're done. So all we gotta do now is mix this up good. And then we will uh, put it in a, it says a nine by 13. We're gonna use the nine by nine. We're gonna have a little thicker. Let's start this up. Here we go, loudness. Grease and flour pan, Mama. Um, Mama's gonna use Baker's Joy over there. So, Mama. Two cups of flour in here. I ain't put nothing but the sugar, eggs, ain't no flour. Okay, we do need the flour. <laughs> I thought, this is not mixing up good. This is not quite. And you skipped that part when you was reading it. Two cups of plain flour. White lily plain flour. Does it call for baking powder? Yeah, baking soda. Baking soda. Ooh. Cup, cup. That's one cup. Is that two cups? Okay, two cups of flour. That's what we want. Let's read this all over again. One and a half cups of sugar. I know it's in there. One cup of sour cream. I know it's in there. Two eggs. One half cup of butter softened. One and a half cups of banana mashed. Yep. Teaspoon of vanilla, yep. Two cups of all-purpose flour and one teaspoon baking soda and three-fourths teaspoon of salt. I know all the ingredients are in there now. I always put a little cinnamon. Mama, you do. This is yours. Remember I say all the time, this is your kitchen. Do what you all want to. And that's what Mama's going to do. She puts a little pinch I of cinnamon. I think the, the cinnamon takes, it's tasted taste like banana bread, but it just, I just like that extra. Okay. How much like you put in there? A we'll teaspoon of cinnamon. All right, I'll add that to this That's recipe. Just so. I'm going to scoot y'all back with just a little bit. <laughs> you want to stir slowly to get your flour and your dry ingredients incorporated. Once they incorporate, then we'll go up. Just get them in there. Now they're in there. And we're off and running. Wait just a minute. I found a flour. I picked up a half a cup. I just seen that. And I need another cup of flour in there. We ain't never been through this way. I just picked up the wrong cup. Sorry. I put two cups in there and they was two high, so that's only one cup of flour. I'm going to have to lick this cake all over. <laughs> I'm going to change the name of these brownies to Banana Miracle Brownies. Because it'll be a miracle if they come out. And you get the stove on? I will have it on. So I'll take that as a no. <laughs> if I had to pick that cup up for cleaning, I wouldn't have realized it. Do y'all plan these shows and do you edit them? <laughs> I know. This tonight is just to show you we don't. It's it looking better. It looks like it might turn into a brownie now. No bacon pepper. Doesn't have it on the list, Mama. Okay. Go ahead. 
You might want to lower your bow. She's going to rake it down, make sure everything's incorporated. It's looking more like a bread, brownie, whatever. If you put enough flour in it, it'll happen. I thought I picked up the right cup, but that's just... Your oven went off. Oh, well, it didn't stay on a second here. No. Uh, it must be operator error. Operator error. I caught that. What, Mama? Operator. Operator error. Something I can think of. Let's do this again. Mixing yours up, just turn it on us. So they said you, it was total confusion. This is, has Baker's Joy in it, so you don't have to flour. You can uh, grease and flour if you want, but this says Baker's Joy, you don't have to. All right, so let's take our little bowl here. I have been wanting to try these a lot, but. So into our grease number nine, you can use the number 13. I will Mom says that little easy bake won't do a number 13. You reckon this will be too thick, Mama? It'll just take a little longer to bake, Sophie. So y'all may not get to see the finished. Let's get all up in there. I'm doing this backwards, left-handed, upside down. So that happens. Okay. Well, let's call that a, a brown. There you go. Let's see how that turns out. It'll turn out into something. It'll turn into something. Not what? I ain't sure. Don't y'all go away because we're going to make some burnt. <laughs> burnt. <laughs> That already starts out like it's a mistake. Brown butter, I said. Not burnt butter, I said. Brown butter, I said. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mama. It'd be like caramel tasting all of Mama said it's going to be caramel, but no, it's not looking... No, it'd have brown sugar in it for a Sorry. That right there is delicious. That's better than banana bread. It really is. Okay, we're through with this big laugh thing. Now you see why we don't use it so much, because it's heavy. I use it more than Mama does. Mama don't like it at all. I, bought, I brought this over here when I moved over here. She didn't want one to start with. And I'm going to go get the hot plate. I'm going to. It's heavier than I thought. I'm going to go get the hot plate and set it right here. Mama, get you a non-stick saucepan, because we fix them to make some icing. Now, I've never made this icing before. I made tons of icing, and you could just use a good old-fashioned buttercream icing on these, and I'm sure it'd be delicious. Now, the directions say to bake this at 375 for 30 to 35 minutes. We're going to bake it at 375 for as long as it takes, because we didn't use the number 13, we used the number 9. So, it may take another minute. Uh, so it might be about 40. So I'm gonna set that on about 30. Well, wait just a second. 35, and we'll see what it does. That's gonna be some good brownies, so It may turn into a bit of bread the way we, I don't know what it's gonna turn into. We gonna find out. So, now we're gonna make some acid. We cooked and cooked, and we got leftovers in there. 
we've not eaten supper, but I said, Mama, let's get them banana brownies because we're about to run out of, of uh, bananas again. Now, don't get me wrong. We're the type of family here. We always like to have three or four bananas rotting in the fruit bowl. I mean, it's just America. Do you have families? Are you a family that always has a couple of three bananas rotten in the fruit bowl? We always let them get to a certain point. We always say, boy, those will make good banana bread. Give it another three or four days and we usually throw them away. But we don't throw them. We put them on our roses because the potassium's good for the flowers. Did you say 35 minutes? Yeah. Mama, what are you doing? I'm trying to get this set on 35 minutes. I get it turned. You're, you're going the wrong way. I turn it and it goes back on me. Stop. Slow down. Mama does everything fast. Even when she changes her phone or her iPad and I'll say, Mama, you don't have to. She'll go. Well, it's on 30 minutes as high as I can get it right now. I say, you don't have to do it that way. You can go real gentle. She'll say, okay. And she will. And then she'll. Do you know somebody who does that? Mama does it all the time, especially on her iPad. She's she's rough on it. In fact, I think she's tore it up. It's old, though. It's, it's, uh, it's been around a while. She's really put a lot of solitaire on it. Mama, you ready to make icing? We're in no hurry, but... Well, you sidetracked me. I didn't get in the skillet. I got the lid and not the skillet. You want to go over to the stove, you need to get the hot plate. I'll so go over and let it cook. Need a half a stick of butter. She's going to use the stove. She ain't interested in the hot plate tonight. All right, Mama, here's the recipe. Very quick, four ingredients. Half a cup of butter, which is two of them right there. No. Four ounces. Eight tablespoons equals a fourth cup. Mm -hmm. Ah, where's it at? That's just four ounces. Cups eight. That's that's a half right there. So it's basically a stick of butter. Four ounces. Eight ounces cut, four ounces high. Now this you don't um you don't add it until after this butter gets it into a brown stage. It says, in a pan, cook on medium heat until brown. And it will stick very, very quickly if you don't stir it constantly. So, you gonna go over there? Mm -hmm. You wanna come over there with you? No, that's, it's just gonna brown slowly, it's like a while. Four cups of powdered sugar goes in after you take it off that heat. Two cups of vanilla and three tablespoons of whole milk. Two what? Two what? You said two cups of... Four cups of powdered sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla, and three tablespoons of whole milk is all it needs. So this is the time when you sit, four of them, you sit and enjoy a cup of coffee while you brownies bake. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add... <clears throat> my own little twist on this. You could always <clears throat> put some chocolate chips on top of that for brownies. It would be delicious. One teaspoon of cinnamon is what you put in there, Mama? Yeah. I'm putting that in my stuff out of the way so I can clean them. I'm going to add that on the recipe because uh, that's what we put in there. And we'll mark this recipe as very good. We loved it. Delicious. Try again. Or tried it. Didn't care for it. We put four cups right here of powdered sugar. I'll take you over there in a minute. Let's watch Mama. It'll make her nervous. I'll go to the sun. She'll say, go over and sit down. Leave me alone. Thanks or thanks. So now I want to ask some questions. Have you made these brownies yet? What should we be looking for? And you need to tell us if it's any count or not. You might should have asked that before we started making it. <laughs> Is it good? I peel, let's see here, somebody says, I peel, I peel my ripened bananas and put it in the freezer bag 
and put in the freezer to do a blooper, strawberry, banana, and something. Coffee muffin. Flaxseed smoothie. Now, Carolyn, if I had done smoothies, that would be a good idea. And I know people who do smoothies who freeze bananas. I don't do smoothies, so it would just be to throw out later. Sometimes we refer to the refrigerator as the holding room for the garbage. So we'll put a lot of stuff in there and then we'll throw it away later. But we don't mean to. We mean to do better. Now we've been better about leftovers and we've been better about making less. But y'all know we got that whole big duck twice baked potatoes in there. We've got some meatloaf in there. We've even got some beef stew left. Is that what's out there? Just plain cooked beef. Cooked beef and what's that soup out there? Cabbage soup. Cabbage soup. Cabbage soup. We ate on it. I've eaten on it three or four times. That was my weekend substance. That was what I ran to was that soup because it was so good. Um, so we've got that in there, but we we'll eat it before it gets gone. But I had late lunch, Mama. Mama, you never did state what you had eaten. I remember. You got to stir that butter constantly. It says, and you've been milling around like a butterfly. What'd you say you ate? I don't remember. Mama. Oh, I ate cauliflower and dill and cheese and crackers. Cauliflower and dill? Dill. Cauliflower and, and y'all's ranch dip that we made the other day. She eats that a lot. And cheese and crackers? Mm -hmm. What, about four? Yeah. She eats late. So she ain't hungry right now. We may eat at seven ish, but we won't get these brownies done. Because we told y'all about them three or four days ago. And a couple of y'all have asked me. I appreciate y'all keeping us, you know, in the memory because I'm like, we are going to make them brownies. Now look at them bananas down. That's now or probably. Oh, it's not doing right. It's on broth. No wonder it won't do. What happened? I turned this knob when I was turning that other. I thought I smelled something. What's it look like? Looks awful. Well, take it out. Now it'll file. File? Yeah. Well, if it's burned on top, we don't want it. I told you it's miracle brownies. I told you. So these will be a miracle if we get these brackets done. We have the oven on broil. Or Mama swung it to broil. Bring them over here, Mama. No, you'll, they'll fall if you take well, them. Well, scrape that burn off. No, we'll get it off later. Right there. Burn off. Well, they'll fall if you take them. Okay. Well, that's what it looks like. I'm beginning to wonder if these brownies are worth it. Is your butter done? No, it ain't brown. Mama put it on broil. Don't put yours on broil. Not good, that's not good. It, it, it's not good. <laughs> it's the truth. I thought, I smell some burn. <laughs> I looked at the burner and everything, trying to figure out where it's coming from. <laughs> we may do these another time. We may start over and forget about these. We're going to make this nice in any way. We'll spread it on something. But is the whole top of that burnt? Yeah. <laughs> Will you quit so, laughing? It's a mistake. <laughs> I made a mistake. I'm laughing with you, Mama, not at you. Sounds like you're laughing at me. I just smell burnt brownies. They've not been in there long. I drink that burnt part off and let the other part cook. Then they'll all fall and be just a clump of dewy, gooey stuff in there. You can't do that. So maybe tonight's lesson is we will teach you all how to recover from a batch of burnt brownies. You eat the ice and forget about the brownies. 
Anyway, we showed you how to make them. Y'all make these and post them. I ain't filming no more. And these Miracle Brownies. It's a miracle if you get a taste one of them. I'll just go back to chocolate brownies. They're my favorite anyway. I, I don't smell the burnt smell now. Maybe I just got used to it. How's the butter hanging out, Mama? Well, it's brown now. Well, break it over here. Let's make that icing. Is that what you want? Oh, that's beautiful, Mama. Look at that. And that's what you want. Two expert brownie makers here on site. <laughs> Now, here we go. Let's try not to mess this up, Mama. Embarrass us in front of our friends. Okay, so come on over, Mama. Let's put us a little bit of um, two teaspoons of vanilla in there. No, I don't believe in that. Oh, okay. One, two. Oh, you talking about? Smelling vanilla. That smells wonderful, don't it? Ooh. Now then, comes four cups of, you, you want to let that simmer on down though. Yeah. Let's see what I got here. Here, you can use this flour cup and enough flour. Three, four. I'll get the right one this time. We keep some of stuff in our sifter here. Well, this right here's a pot. I don't know. I can't never get it full just like it needs to be. Mama, don't like that one. Let's see if I got here. We never measure anything. You start stirring. I'm stirring. I ain't stopped. Okay. Stir, stir. I know I'm going to get it exactly. One little cup. I don't think it take two, four cups. What did it say? Two. This is a cup. We need some liquid, though. Well, you get some milk in a minute. Let me get you this spoon. You get a little drop of milk, it says here. You get three tablespoons. One little, that's two in there. One, two, three. You may get another one. <laughs> and now I'm gonna give you another cup here. Keep stirring. Three. And four. Now I'm going to have to have more. Don't put much because once it gets wet, it'll be spread. It. So that's an extra teaspoon of milk you've cleaned. Let right. me stir it. Yeah, I'm going to check on those. And check on the burnt brownies. The burnt brownies. And this is your icing. This is what it looks on, on the... the Facebook, same consistency looking. And you put this on your brownies. This is a little unusual. You put this on them warm. We might have to make extra icing to, to hide that burnt brownie. We'll shave the top of it off. That's it. That's your icing. Yum. And it'll probably set up and go too hard to use by the time the brownies get done. Look at that. That's the way it's kind of the consistency you supposed to be. Oh, Mama, you're going to mess up my pretty consistency now. That's... You put it on it warm, probably for it to kind of melt. Uh -huh. it. But that's perfect looking. I have never made icing like this. Butter, sugar... Well, I mean, I just never really had to use brown butter. Oh, my word. It tastes brown butter. Mmm. Taste that, Mom. Oh, my. It's absolutely delicious. 
It's not the brownie's fault. Don't hold it against the brownies. Mama just put it on broil. I was trying to get the temperature. Cooking cherry up. What? You've been hitting the cooking cherry. It does taste caramely tasting. It's delicious. The brown butter gives it a totally different taste. Folks, if you don't do nothing else, make this brown butter brown butter frosting. Here's your recipe. You ready? Get your pencil out. Sharpen it up. A half a cup of butter, one stick, and you want to stir it. Pretty well constantly until you get a golden brown. You see how brown hers was. You add in four cups of powdered sugar, two teaspoons of good vanilla, and four tablespoons of whole milk. What we took, but you just said milk is needed. I'm gonna put that on here or as needed. Okay. How, how how delicious does that thing of that look, Mama? That's... <laughs> Unspeakable, she said. How delicious does it look? How long has it got? I don't know. I've missed time and everything gets on it. It's burnt, I'm told. But you say you can't peel that off and start fresh. No. Tell them, Mama. You tell have them. to wait till it bakes. And it gets you a knife or something. So y'all gonna learn today how to save a burnt brownie. If you cut it, take it out of the oven. It'll just go down and go. How will it go? <laughs> Show us again. Do when this sets up into stone, we can't stir it no more. We'll just add a little more milk to it, make it thinner. This is always a solution. Yeah, that's what you say. Send them solutions, throw it out and start all over. But this was delicious. That's going to be perfect, folks. I'm putting that in my new icing arsenal. That'd be good on cupcakes or anything. Delicious. Let's see what y'all saying. I think it versions up all ago, sorry. Put your stuff back in your sugar container and I'll put it over here. She's getting bouncy. Let's see what y'all are saying. I stay up to date here. Nancy, I'm up to this. Okay, we're moving. So funny. Wanda Jones. Have you ever burnt something up? I mean, have you ever just started to fix something? And you think, Good night. I have burnt that up. Well, it's even more fun when you're on <laughs> Facebook Live and there's about 2,000 people watching you. <laughs> oh, Mama. I love it. It's wild. I love it's it. It's my daddy. I always told us, if you never make mistakes in life, you've never made, done nothing. You've never done nothing. So, you make mistakes if you do stuff. So evidently I've done I've done quite a few things because I've made quite a few mistakes. That oven in the center <clears throat> is a knob and it says broil, bake, whatever. Mom was out there filling with the timer and she bumped it with her hand and it just twisted it back on. That happens. It happened to me not long ago on something else, but I caught it really quick. <clears throat> That's just the way it is. It would be better if you had to push in. You ain't going to open the door again, are you? I'm going to stick a toothpick in the center and no, see how bad it is. Ten minutes. I'm telling you, it ain't done. I'll tell you what it has done. I can tell from here it ain't done. Uh, it has risen up to the top <clears throat> of that. Of that number nine. It's come up out there. It ain't done? No, I didn't see no dough on it, but that don't. Oh, it ain't been there. Long enough. It likes 18 more minutes. That's told you when I was trying to get it changed. <laughs> I'm going to go to bed. And? Get back up. 
Uh-huh. Start all over again. I think it's going to help me. But go home around quick and get back in here. <laughs> don't work that fast. You don't work that fast, you said. No. It's life. I'm It'll be all right. We made it. You make it just like we did. Just skip the step where you put the oven on. Bro, oh, we burn it up. But the icing's delicious. I think that icing is a keeper. Yeah. We use that in our arsenal of icing. Arsenal icing. I mean, the, the metal and like it. Like when you're doing your go-to, you know, here's a good icing for this or here's a good icing for that. Mm -hmm. Then you'll have that one. So what are y'all made lately? What y'all make tonight? That rag's got it. Besides burnt butter. Burnt we ain't made butter. nothing but burnt, but burnt brownies. Miracle brownies. My dad browned. I can't read tonight. My dad browned the butter and powdered sugar and vanilla and milk and put them on his ginger snack cookies. Oh, Mary, your dad was a smart man. He's a smart man to do that because this would be great on ginger snap cookies. Mama's a hoot tonight. We love you. Brandy, <laughs> she's a hoot all the time. Just sometimes she's a little hootier than usual. It's funny, John. We wouldn't be human if we don't make mistakes. That's the truth. You don't do nothing. Makes me if feel good. Make I make mistakes. mistakes cooking. Okay, we all do. <clears throat> we do. And your other creators out there. They make mistakes too, but they're smart and they know how to edit. Mama and I are not that smart. We just have to, you just get what you get here. And we've always it's been real that life. That's just it. We don't edit, we don't stop, we don't do any of those things because we just turn it on and you get what you get, just like you're sitting here. That's our whole. That's what we want you to feel like, like you're sitting right here in the midst of all this crazy. The only difference is, if you were here, you'd probably ask to do something. True. I mean, like here, get that, or hand me that over there. Get that, oh, turn that oven up. Watch that oven better than I Make sure it ain't on brawl. I'll say that next few times. I feel yeah, we'll that. watch it real close for about three times. And then we'll burn something else up. Truth to truth, I don't know. Life's rough sometimes. <laughs> this ain't rough. This yeah. ain't nothing. This is just something to be fun. Because I'm going to tell you, you just burn on the, on the top. We ain't taking these nowhere. And the fire ain't in town. They ain't even going to church social. We'll turn that pan of brownies upside down. And we can cut that top off. We'll cut that top off. And we'll ice yeah, them at bottom. I used bottom. to keep that old cheese cutter I used to have years ago. And I'd take it and just... Slice off anything. It was too bad. We ain't even gonna waste them brains. We know what happened. Now, if they'd been in there so long, they'd burn up. Probably would be edible. This is a different scenario. This is just the tops burn. <laughs> so, if you gotta have some burnt stuff, broiled burnt is best because you do have some good stuff underneath there. And like Mama said, let it cook and then trim it up. I was gonna take it out and just dip that burnt part off and cook what was left. You could do it with the cake, but I believe you could get by with the brownies because they're a little bit different. But. They're done raised too high to do it. They hadn't started raising any much, but they're that thick. Why did they raise? Well, because we got it in too little of a pan than what it called for. Oh. Mostly it's too thick. Too thick. Mm -hmm. But it's coming along. Surely the goodness. Y'all can hang around a way if you just want to watch the burnt brownie reveal. <laughs> <laughs> it's about 14 minutes away. Maybe not that long. Mama's I can't tell with the burn on top whether they're going to be done or not. I may burn the bottom of the match. Oh, goodness, Mama. Okay, let's see what y'all are saying. What y'all cooking tonight? What kind of vanilla did Mama use? Uh, Brandy, that's Madagascar vanilla. i tell you how I come about that vanilla. Is a little bit more expensive, but it does taste really good. <clears throat> but I watched a certain cooking show on um, the cooking channel, and they would always say, good vanilla, use good vanilla. Always, and I was, what's that mean? Vanilla, vanilla, vanilla. 
So I looked up what do they consider good vanilla, and when I found it, I ordered some. And it is good vanilla. It does taste good. It's made from good stuff. But most vanillas are made from bourbon or vodka and beans. Now, Kimmy's Southern uh, Kitchen, she showed us how to make vanilla, and it takes a year. You take ben vanilla beans, you put them down in bourbon or vodka. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> and then in a year, you'll have, or eight months, you have to turn it every so often. You put it in a dark place. <clears throat> so, good vanilla, considering how hard it is to make it, I don't think it's was that expensive. So, I will get some more of it. In fact, that's about now. So, it's good vanilla. Uh, we have just always just used water vanilla. We did get some from Mexico once upon a time uh, when we were in Mexico, but I'm not a vanilla connoisseur. Oh, Eddie brought us some one time. Uh, one of y'all brought us some one time, put it on our church porch, and they said, John, there's something out here that says it's for you. I looked, and it was that vanilla, and there was a note in it. That was sweet. But uh, as far as, as far as, me being able to say, oh, this is this, I ain't that good at it. But this is a reminder. It is pretty good now. So that's how we end up with that. And you can get it on Amazon. And I think it's one of our favorite things. So there'll be a link under here and you can take you right to it. This is a reminder. I made meatloaf mashed potatoes yesterday in plenty of. That's what we had, Kendra. Oh, we, we had, had twice, twice baked potatoes. They were Cut the top potatoes. off and turn it upside down. That's right, Cheryl. That's what we're going to do. We're going to show you. We're going to leave it. It won't hurt. We had salad tonight. What kind of dish cloths are you using? These right here. These are just microfiber. I got them on Amazon. Um, <clears throat> we go through dish cloths like most people go through Kleenexes. We got two going at all times. And we use them and lose them. So we keep a whole drawer. We've got some that uh, Tupperware ones over there. We've got some others. But you see us grabbing these little cheapies all the time because, like I say, we use them and then we put them in the laundry. Um, but just a microfiber, and it cleans up pretty good. Here's a... This is the Tupperware we use most of the time. And you can see, we've used this for a long time. But we wash them often too, but it's just that little, you can see right there, it's just Tupperware. And it's got a microfiber back on it. So we got this one over there for dishes. We use these mostly for swapping and wiping. And I like to keep one, just a habit, I guess. I like to keep it, usually when we start a video, I grab a one, you know, you'll hear me how Mama took my dish right with us because I got out of the drawer and wet it hot and put some little, little down on it and cut it out here for me because Mama has got me uh, <clears throat> to wiping and swapping like her. And uh, so that's how we survive. So usually she has one, I have one. But that's what these are, is just those little microfiber ones. This ice is turned into, well, it's softened up. We might have to put it back on and warm it just a minute. I guess you're supposed to wait and do your icing a little closer to the reveal of the brownie. Yeah. This burner might be warm enough to keep it soft. I'm still excited to taste these because I love banana bread. I love, my favorite thing really is banana bread muffins with a little bit of uh, pecans on top. Mama likes banana bread loaves. And I like that okay, but I love a good muffin. Love a good banana bread muffin. Um, Mama said, like, she said she always puts a little bit of cinnamon in them, so they've always got that little bit of extra in there. And we like them pretty good. Um, but we banana bread all through the year. It's not just a holiday thing for us. Because like I said, we always buy bananas. If we don't have bananas, you know, it's good for mama to eat a banana every day or two for the potassium. So we always keep them. Now we don't have any right now. But we just we can. use those. So when I go to the store, when she goes to the store, we'll pick up some bananas. And she'll eat them occasionally. So, you know, she has to have them just ripe. No, no brown. Not one brown dot on them. I like them almost. Green. green. And you know, that likes that one green. But I like them a little sweeter. I like them when they get, you know, brown or brown dots. 
But it's more, like my fish. I don't like them to taste real banana. <laughs> Something like a banana it tastes like a banana, she said. But now you did freeze some closer to Christmas for banana bread, didn't you? Uh, back for Thanksgiving. For Thanksgiving, and they worked fine for her banana bread. Uh, but she mashed them and then froze them, didn't you? Yeah, I tried it one time. And she must she don't sound too impressed with it. Did you like it? Well, I do have fresh in time. She didn't like it. She didn't like the idea of it. But we always keep a few bananas, and so we're always on the verge of making some banana bread. A lot of times, Mama will make it on Sunday morning and take it to church and make them little bitty banana muffins. So that's what she does sometimes. Then she'll make a few bigger ones. But she, the little kids love them little ones. You reckon it baked seven minutes while it was burning? <laughs> <laughs> Let me look at the directions. <laughs> does it bake seven minutes while it's burning? 375 for 30 or 35 minutes. Unless you burn it and then you can get it out at whatever time it is. <laughs> I'll go with the, red, the real <laughs> recipe for y'all while we're waiting these few minutes. This is banana bread brownies with brown butter frosting. One and a half cups of sugar. You can write this down. One cup of sour cream. Two eggs. One half cup of butter soft. One and a half cups of banana mashed. One teaspoon vanilla. Two cups of all-purpose flour. One teaspoon baking soda. That's what made it rise a little bit, I guess. Three-fourths teaspoons of salt and a teaspoon of cinnamon. You blend your sugar, your sour cream, your eggs, and your butter until creamy. Then you blend in your bananas and your vanilla and your uh, dry goods, your flour, your baking soda, your, your um, salt, and your cinnamon. And you, uh, then you, after you blend all that up, it says use a 9 to 13 grease and flour pan. Bake 375 for 30 to 35 minutes. We broke all the rules. We put in a 9 by 9, and we use Baker's Joy. Don't listen to us. <laughs> and then we burnt the top. Just a I thing. burnt it. You don't have to take credit for that. Brown butter frosting. <laughs> Delicious. One half cup of butter, one stick. Four cups of powdered sugar. Two teaspoons of vanilla, three teaspoons of whole milk, or as needed, we use four. And that was perfect. We may end up using five because we've let her sit a while. Mama's dying to get that out of there. It's like she's wanting to erase this. I mistake. want to erase the brown burnt part. Just cut it out. It'll bother me. All night, I'll be thinking about it. What that. will you be thinking? Why did you burn that brownie? How did you make that mistake? I'll be fussing myself the rest of the night. Mama, it's funny. <laughs> you don't remember all the other things we cooked, but you do remember the night you poured peas all over the floor, or blueberries. blueberries. It's the mistakes you remember. And if this is good, we'll say, imagine how good it is if you don't burn it. Or broil it. If it were burnt, you wouldn't be able to eat it. And I wouldn't even suggest. It is burnt on top only because it was stuck in there that far from the broiler and it really burned I kept thinking boy I smell that awful quick I put it in a burner never even thought about my bread burning <laughs> it was just in there a few minutes and I thought well it's right next it. to it I really smell that banana bread awful quick and well I'm gonna bring it out Mama's whatever bringing it, is, it out whatever it is it brace is. yourself this could be a trigger for somebody who's really into not burning stuff. We're going to show you mamas. It's jiggly in the middle, mama. Huh? It's jiggly in the middle. Yeah, it's going to be jiggly, I think. Can't take it out. It's not bad. Can't take it out. It's <laughs> It'll take you two hours to bake. Y'all may not get to see the finished product of this. I'm sorry. But I guess the bacon, it's its four inches high. It's a four inch brownie. It's, 
I'm going to say go ahead and make it any bigger of it and do a number 13. Yeah. So I'm going to recommend. But we're going to leave it in there another two days and then we're going to pull it out. <laughs> Mama can't see. I can look right over there and when she pulls it out, it was jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. It wasn't ready. We'll let you know. We'll show you a picture. I know y'all probably getting tired of fun with this. Y'all want to, you want us to end this. Hey, chicken and dumplings, Brenda. I love chicken and dumplings, Brenda. Um, you just want to, let me roll you up. I froze you back there somewhere. Uh, hello from Northwest Louisiana. Hello, Michael. I'm sorry, but this made my day. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa Scott, that's all it was meant for. It's just to make your day. Things happen. You're not perfect. Have, we're not. Lord, have mercy. We're so far from perfect. I'll eat the burnt part. You know, Karen, that's what I was sitting here thinking while I go. I may like that burnt part. I love burnt cheese. Not burnt bread, though. It smells awful. It's not smelling too bad, Mom. In fact, it's starting it's to It's going to hit the burner coming up out of the pan. Thank goodness you burn it uh, to start with. It's rising like nobody's business. Now, I don't know. Maybe the bacon soda is too much. I want to wait. Robin wants to wait. I'll Stay go. on, Deborah says. Oh, wow. No, don't. In this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will wait for the finished product, Teresa said. Oh, no. I think it's cute. It makes my day also. <laughs> Listen, folks, there's people out there with real problems. There's stuff going on in this world. And when you burn some bread or burn a brownie, this life can go on. It's just life, really. And like you said, nobody ain't perfect. Even Mama. I'm far from being perfect. I do stuff all the time. Mama's went, look at her. She's gone from snowflakes and snowmen. She's all about flyers now. We live flyers. I packed That's all the flyers. Snow. I got snowflakes. two snowflakes out I had not wore all winter. I'll probably wear them one more time. Are Florida. you wanting more snow? Are you trying to give us some more snow? Yeah, you wore them old snowmen around here for a week and all of a sudden... The sky broke loose and we had snow and we was hemmed in for seven days. That's the reason I packed them up. I was afraid to wear them anymore. <laughs> Put them in the truck. Your brownies won't take this long because you're going to put yours in a number 13. And you're going to fix it right like it's supposed to be. And yours is going to spread out and they'll be done a lot quicker. This is the biggest brownie. This will be the biggest brownie you've ever seen. Isn't that thing just went off, but it ain't time. This is the biggest brownie you've ever seen. I've never seen anything come up with this. It's, is it jiggling? Yeah. I'll show it. She's going to show you. It's terrible. She's going to show y'all. It's terrible. Now it's come up there. Uh -huh, look at that. And look at that crust. It's not near them. No, it's jiggly. See, when you hit That's it. That's going to have to be got off because it's not letting it. It's too. Hand me that big old bread knife, Mama. And I'll take care of this operation. This is what I was going to do earlier. So let's just skim it off. Mama says this ain't letting it cool. It ain't letting it bake in the center. It's got a hard crust. Wait, wait. Oh, it ain't near done. Let me get a plate to put that on. It's like jello in there. It's I'm going to eat this part. <sighs> bake it off if you had to hurry. Mama ain't nothing on there. Go on. Woo! Right <laughs> Afraid to lose that little bit bat on the back that burnt. Here. No, Mama, this is not done. It's jiggly. No, because that's... Here, let me get that because it was just burned. It was just letting it to uh, hold it in or that burnt part was. Ah! Let me All get right. through. Yeah, go. Now we'll do something. Don't be making your brownies like that. See, this is where the coils are. And it burnt quick. 
Let's taste that little piece right there. See, it's not too brown. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what it is. Right now, it's just banana bread. It's just what? Banana bread. Taste that piece right there, Mama, and you tell. <clears throat> it just tastes just like banana bread. It is banana bread. That's all it is. What makes it a brownie? I don't know. Usually bread is made in loaf pans, the reason they call it brown bread. This tastes good, though. It's good, but it's just banana bread in a pan. Mm -hmm. Like a cake. It's just a big old banana bread. I don't know what would cause it to turn into a brownie. Ain't that sad? Well, we broke all the rules. We throw them out the window. We didn't break them. We just you can't make brownie. You should have made two number nine. When I was pouring it in there, I said to myself, self, self, this is too thick. Remember, I asked you some more. No, that's burnt. That part is. Yeah. That ain't too burnt. Nah, this, this is, over here is edible. But that is on that. That's pretty good. See? Well, that brown is. <laughs> and it got browner because it was touching the top. You're right. Whoever said that, that, that little boy, that's not bad. All right. Mama. No more brownies. Banana brownies for we're us. We're going to do it right now, Mama. When next time we get rotted bananas, we'll try this again. No, we won't. It's done with. I'm going to close the blind. We got, it's going to close the blind so the neighbors can't see the burnt brownies. We've got to get it right. You can't leave on a bad note, can you? Give it to the bird. We will. I'll crumble that up tomorrow. It'll be dried out. It's pretty good. I mean, it tastes like, but it just tastes like banana bread. They just call them that because they are made and cut into brown. Yeah, probably the snow. You're right. I'm going to uh, go ask Abby if she likes banana, burnt banana brown. <laughs> she says she wants it burnt. I don't know. Let's see what she says. Well, Abby, I'm going to ask you to make the banana bread. The burnt part is good, Kieran said. I think it is too. You forgot to put the frosting on that uh, piece. I know. I should <laughs> I have done that. Frosting on that burn. We may have to save that frosting for. Put it in your refrigerator and save it for cuts. something good. <laughs> that hot mess over there will cook, and it will be good. You're gonna drink that milk. I'm not gonna drink it, but she got a glass out. We'll make them again sometime, Mama, and see if we can do better. Well, this is then rising back up here again. Better had to bake it, like you said, two days for it to get. It may still take two days. It's four inches thick. Mm. I know what we'll have to start mm -hmm. doing. We'll start to start making regular banana bread now. <laughs> the regular one. Cut it down the middle, you have two loaves in one. It got thicker in it than it did the loaf pan. It really did. <laughs> yeah, it's rising back up. I yeah, see it on the Over there. <laughs> oh, well. It's your cooking. Life's too short to cry. Why, Spilt yeah, or worry milk. about it tonight. Get, just get over that mess. Spilt milk. I've learned to take. Downs and the feet and the steaks in my life. <laughs> it's okay. It wasn't, I mean, it'll eat. We'll smear that icing over it when it comes out there now because the burnt part's gone. Mm -hmm. It'll need to bake about 15 more minutes. <laughs> 45 minutes or an hour. Oh, if you fixed it in the right size pan, you wouldn't have the problem. And if or somebody, somebody turned the oven right, they wouldn't. Have or if you put half the batter in that size pan, would have been fine. We'll cut it down to 
We can make hack a, we'll make a hack of batter. Hack of That's too much. We'll, we'll hack it and put it in our nine by nine. Yeah. If you don't mean it in your household, make a high of a batch. If you got 75 people to feed, fix this meal. <laughs> Did y'all see that thing? And it's rising back up. <laughs> it's a mess. Yes, love. Did on. you go out and pet Abby today and play with her? No. She John sure was. When he came she sure was happy to see me. I didn't go out to her. John, boy, she laid and let him pet her and rub her. And Dogs like John. John's a good yeah. guy. Dogs are a good judge of character. Yeah. My daddy always said if kids and dogs like you, you're a pretty good fella. So I guess that's right. They can judge and tell you better. Well, one thing about it, I ain't hungry enough to eat supper tonight. Yeah. Good thing you had ain't supper, we'd starve to death. Smelling this banana bread and tasting a little bit of it's done me good. It tastes as good. It tastes like banana bread. If you want to know what in the world would that taste, it tastes just like banana it's bread. It's what it is, banana bread. What, what's different about it, Mama? Well, there ain't nothing. Except the sour cream. I don't put sour cream in my at one banana bread recipe. You may have to start. Look what gets it's the Because session. I fixed the sugar, flour, eggs, butter, all of that goes in it. But I just never have put sour, sour cream. cream in my regular banana. Well, it didn't change the taste of it, did it? No, it's, it's got a good flavor. Yeah. It's got a great flavor, and it would it will be good in about forty five minutes. <laughs> if we hadn't took that top off, it wouldn't never. I could just take the top off earlier. Yeah, but it was just starting and it raised another inch after that and touching the burners. That's how come it wasn't that burn and it got up there so high it was touching, just about touching that side. Some things the easy bake may not be perfect for. Bacon cakes is not the best for it because it's too close to it's the It's too burn. close and it gets high. We're learning. We'll go back to the big oven next time we make them too. Remind us though, because we'll go right around. We'll, we'll <laughs> All right, tell your chicken collateral story. Chicken collateral. Oh, but you're going to help for chicken. Okay, I'll tell the chicken collateral story. So, once upon a time, my dad decided that we needed to have some eggs, not a lot of chickens. Just enough to have fresh eggs. And he just said, you know, he'd get 10 or 12. We'd have a dozen or so a day. We don't need a dozen a day. But still, that's what he decided to go with. So he bought him eight chickens. And um, then he ordered, you can order chickens. Did you know that? So he ordered some diddles. And he ended up with 25 or so hens. Next thing you know, we were full on chicken farmers, and he had 115 or so. But that's what my dad would do. Anything he got into, he went into it. So one Sunday, he says to me that he wanted me to ride uh, to get look at some chickens with him. He said, you want to go look at some chickens? I said, sure. So we, we'd always do it on Sunday. We'd go out and do whatever. So this is in between church, you know, just an evening drive. So, this might have been on a Saturday, though, because he didn't normally buy stuff on Sunday it like that. Saturdays. He would just go, look, riding around, that was a Sunday thing. But So, this must have been a Saturday. In fact, it was because it was dark and we would have been at church then. So, we went to a place, don't even know where it is now, couldn't get you there right now. Mama didn't know where we was, and this was before cell phones were popular. This was back in the bag phone day. I was probably 18, 17. Oh, okay, so. I was still living at home. I was still living here. And uh, we went, and he pulls me down across some railroad tracks, down into a, a hole. hole in the world. And there was a chicken coop, and a, there was an outhouse. And there was not a speck of grass in that whole spot. 
and I figured out why in a few minutes. They come out, and they had a white bucket, and they got that white bucket out and got some chicken feed, and chickens and turkeys and all sorts of fowl <laughs> descended upon that farm from high and low. I didn't know what was coming off. I'd never been in a circumstance like that. There was probably 400 chickens and guineas. So here they all come to get that little bit of feed. Dad picked out about 10 hens. We had some crates, you know, chicken coop things. That boy, Dad would point and that boy would grab them by the feet, jerk them out and shove them in the cage. We filled the truck full of 10 hens or whatever it was he wanted. He handed them the money and they said they didn't have no change. And Dad wasn't going to give no extra. <laughs> and he says, I'll run up here to the store and get some change. Then I'll be right back. Well, I immediately go to get in the truck. He's getting in the truck. I open the door and he says, you stay here so he'll know where I'm coming back. <laughs> now, hindsight being what it is, I would have said to him, I ain't a staying here. But I just shut the door and as he pulled out of the driveway, and went over that railroad track, the realization hit me that I'm sitting, standing here in the middle of nowhere without a phone or nothing, and he may never be seen again. If he gets in a wreck, <laughs> it's up. Now, he has left me in this place as collateral for 10 hens, basically. Mm. Well, he went to one store, and they didn't have any change. He had to drive on up the road. He's gone a long time. A lot longer in my mind probably than reality. But I'm standing there with these folks. And I'm real friendly. But they wasn't a lot of conversation. It was all me talking. And I ran out of stuff to say in about 30 seconds. You know, how many chickens you got? How long you've been doing this? About 400, as long as I can remember. I mean, I wasn't getting a lot of back and forth. So there we stood for probably 25 minutes. But i tell you one thing. It got my prayer life in order because I began to pray, <laughs> Lord, protect him and get him back here in a hurry. So finally, he comes rolling down that hill. I seen him. He got out. He paid the people for the chickens. I'm already in the truck. All right. We get up there and I said, don't you ever leave me for chicken collateral again. And he said, I didn't leave you for chicken collateral. I just wanted you to stay there. So he'd know I was coming back. To I said, that's the definition of collateral. <laughs> I sussed at him when he got home for doing that. And I told him. Yeah. <laughs> so if you've never been, it's a humbling situation. If you've never been left somewhere out in the middle of nowhere, where you don't know nothing or nobody or how to even get home. <laughs> For 10 hints, you have never experienced life as I have being left there for chicken collateral. I was so glad to see the main road first and then home second. I was tickled to death. And I said, don't do it. Don't ever. We'll unload them. Why didn't we unload them? I just leave them lay there. Next time we will. That's what I told him. So he never left me for chicken collateral again. I'd have whipped him if he'd have left you anymore. But that sure was an experience. Those folks, they weren't chatty, for one thing. Another thing, I couldn't tell the house from the chicken coop because there was chickens in both places. And there was no grace, and it was a little, a little different for me. And I mean, I'm not judging them because they were tickled to death. They were just happy people, but they weren't friendly. It wasn't like I mean, I'm sure I was like some kind of stranger from another world to them, because there I stood, there they stood, there we all stood, just waiting for that red truck to come over that hill. I bet you they were thinking in their minds, 
He ain't worth a check. <laughs> that man has left here and left us this guy that had to take care of. We'd rather have the tin hands back. <laughs> so that's my chicken collateral story. If you've never been left for chicken collateral, you ain't lived yet. Mm -mm -mm. My daddy's got me in a bunch of messes before. But that was one right there that that was rougher than I was used to. So that's the chicken collateral story. John, are you an only child? I am a native, but there could have been more. <laughs> and they probably just got left on some chicken farm somewhere. <laughs> uh, deliverance. Yep, Linda, it could have been a scene in Deliverance. Picture them. Charlene Brothers. Uh, off Andy Griffin. Yeah. Yeah, it was Charlene's brother. That's exactly where I was. It was that <laughs> same thing. Very friendly. Very nice folks. Just not very talkative. Yep. Nope. Ten years. I mean, it was just... Whatever I said, they had one answer. And only that one boy talked. The rest of them just stood and looked. I think he was the only one allowed to speak. Uh, he might have been the oldest. I don't know. But... Uh, Maybe he was the educated one. I don't know, but it was different. It was different. And I think that was as uncomfortable as I was with the whole situation, knowing their hands was gone, and here I was, and what was we going to do if he didn't get back with it? <laughs> and it was like, you know, $4 or something. What's the difference? It was, I said, why didn't you just give them the money? That's what they needed. Why are you paying $4 extra for our damn tickets? <laughs> I'd have gave fourteen dollars on to stood there. What you ask me? I'd have come up with some change. <laughs> You'd have had me to pay him. <laughs> Till the day my daddy died, he thought that was the funniest story ever. He thought that he had really, and he'd tell it. He said, "Tell about the time I, I left you a bar for collateral for them chickens." <laughs> All right, folks, this has been a lot longer than I thought it would be tonight. I really thought we'd jump on here, make a brownie, and be done. Mama, it's been in there about four hours. Oh, it ain't been in there four hours, but it's been in there a while. I'll check on it. Get my tooth. I really didn't think brownies could take this long. I tell Mama, so we'll make some brownies right quick. Get cleaned up here and go Clean ahead. this mess up, and we'll be done. That's what happens when you're making plans. Now, Mama's got a toothpick out. That means she's going to go check it. This is a little jelly. She'll stick that toothpick in there, and if it comes out clean, she'll know that we might have a brownie. But if it don't come out As clean... As your daddy says, we might have to just eat this with a spoon and go home. <laughs> the eggs are done in it, I know. I'll tell you what's easier is the box of brownies you get. And the verdict is? Oh, it ain't got dough on it. So well, I let's try it, Mama. We're going to try it. Let's go with it. You want me to get it out of there? Is it heavy? No, I lift it with all that other one. I have it. <laughs> Mama, it all right, folks. You all waited. Thank you so much. You're very patient, folks. Turned out pretty. It did turn out pretty, Mama. See, that's how you save a pan of burnt brownies. Turned out beautiful. Let's see. I think it's done. You can try it with the toothpick. I try. So when you're testing with a toothpick, you take a clean toothpick and you just stick it down in the middle. You pull it out. If there's no raw dough on it, and there's not, then they're done. Okay. Stir that up or you just put it on there. We'll leave it in this dish since we take so much trouble. So the icing says to, you can put it on there warm, which this now is hot. Put that on the hot burner. This is hot, so it might be more than considered warm. And that said, that icing stayed pretty pliable because it's on a, warm on a warm burner, not on, just warm. So that stayed pretty good. You reckon I let it cool down a little bit? Mama says she don't know. Let's try it. Here's a better knife if you 
Let's try this. It can't I'm hurt. Well, try it. We've messed up everything else. We ain't messed up nothing now, Mama. If we had somebody on here that could edit, we could edit it out. Let's take this. So this is that beautiful icing. It should start melting and going on it. Yep, it will. I can see why this says you can put on the warm. But this is hot, so it'll be a it'll, glaze like. it'll probably glaze. But this is what the finished product would have looked like an hour and a half ago. <laughs> you talking about me? No, I'm talking about me. <laughs> I'm messing the brownies up. So this is what it would have looked like. A beautiful brownie with a beautiful brown butter icing on it. That brown butter tastes a lot like caramel. I'm, it really does. I was thinking it wouldn't, but. All right, folks, there it is. Uh-huh. It does taste like your caramel apple cake. Mm-hmm. I thought you'd have to have brown and sugar to make it taste that You good. ain't gonna smooth out pretty, though. No. What we have here is a failure to communicate with the brownies. Piece. What we have here is a piece of banana bread. Banana bread. I don't know. It's got a little bit of a consistency of a brownie. It's a little denser than cake. Mama, well, you can eat off this. We don't need oh, it. Oh, yeah, I can't eat. I start to say I can't have that much. I'm just having a mm. We ain't going to eat much, and you can eat a bite of that right there. So, in the middle of a failure or two, we come up with a successful brownie. And I believe it's going to be fine. <laughs> Let's bless it. We have to bless this mess, Mama. <laughs> I'm ashamed of it. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that we're able to gather here and have fun. And Lord, we thank you for this meal. We thank you, Lord, that blessed it for our nourishment. And thank you for these precious hands that made it to the Lord. And thank you, Lord, that we have the grace and the love of you and that we can get together as friends and laugh and joke and talk and enjoy an evening, dear Lord. These are the memories that we'll always have, dear Lord. We just thank you for them so much. Be with each and every prayer request that's here tonight, dear Lord, those spoken and unspoken, dear Lord. And we just ask for your mercy and your grace upon everyone. Watch over our children, watch over our world, dear Lord, in your name we pray. Amen. Now I'll take my spoon I have. I think I might have some left cake and some of that. Brownie, Mama, brownie. Brownie. Ooh. We'll let Mama taste it and give the verdict. Now we we take full credit for all this because if we had used the right size pan, but see, like I said, she burned it with the broiler, so there was no harm done. Very good. Mm. get the icing with the brownie, as you call it. It's really good. I don't know how to explain it. It's got that banana, there, but yet caramely. There's a difference between this and a, and a regular ban banana bread. It's a little denser. Mm -hmm. I believe a cup of sour cream. 
As you can see right there, it's more like a... Yeah. A brown. If it had been made in the shower, I think it would have turned into more of a dense brownie. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say we'll make it again. Not just because we failed at this time. No. <laughs> I would try it again. I wouldn't care to make it. I'm going to make it again in, a, in a number 13. We um, always said you had to lick that cake over if mm -hmm. you made a mistake. I don't want to lick this one over. Not this. exactly like this, and we won't do it in that thick of one. But we will try maybe a half batter and see if it will be a brownie size. And the, but that icing, I'll definitely try to make it again. It's delicious. This is a go. Just don't burn yours to start with and don't make it that thick. <laughs> so, for a first time try... Don't let mama adjust the oven. That's the problem. Right for a there. first time try it, our first time, we both like it. Yeah. And it's worth making, <laughs> isn't it, mama? Yeah, it's really good. It's worth the make. So, we started with Kippy on here all night for a oh, brownie. Oh, yeah, that was true. Y'all are too kind to stay. You guys are yeah, wonderful. And... Um, <laughs> We had fun. And that's what part of cooking and baking is all about is sitting around having fun. I mean, if this was a big formal dinner, Tell it'd be different. Mama, you're going to make her, take her to get ice cream. Why is make the brown into it right? <laughs> <laughs> but it is worth a try. And this turned out good. And we will share this out and we will eat it. It's a good, it's a good make. You'll enjoy it. Just use, you know, you know what not to do. <laughs> That's the reason we've done all that. Do it to 9 to 13. Spread it out a little bit more or make a half. And that icing wouldn't change a thing. It's absolutely delicious. Even if we waited around with it, it still went on great. If I had to put it on the warm burner, it probably would have got too stiff. Uh -huh. It could be prettier on top. Mm -hmm. But that's just where it was on there. But all in all, it's a, it's a keeper and it's a, it's a good little change from banana bread. <laughs> um, like I said, you could put chocolate chips in it. You could do a lot with it. Yeah, you could put raisins and chocolate chips and... You could do anything. Yeah, right, we've done enough. You could so, even put caramel chips inside the cake. Oh, Mama, you're getting too much now. To go with this caramel flavored icing on it. you got too much caramel now because that icing's blend too. Oh, it's good. It really is good. I'll have to get Mama out of it. Our and Mama's this is sick. only my second bite. <laughs> Say good night, Mama. <laughs> no. She'll pull it around and get her mouth full before we get ready to leave. I done hair. Say it, Mama. Say it. Mm. <laughs> you said I done have. Mm. You can say, she says good night. Y'all have a blessed <laughs> night. Good night, Mama. God bless you. So. Bye-bye. <laughs> we love y'all. Hope to see bye you tomorrow. Bye. Have a blessed night. And we'll be back tomorrow. And try something else. <laughs> bye, y'all.